M0FXB, welcome back to my videos on the IC980 Pro. Let's add a repeater and save it to our memory, then give it a name. First thing you do, go into VFO mode and type in your frequency, or well, you could turn the dial, take longer, but you can use the, the microphone. We're going to do GB3BC, so we'll go 145750. Okay. We'll now set our parameters, press menu, go up to or down to number two, CTCSS, press the button. You can do a lot of this with the hand microphone, but I prefer to use the radio. Press again, and there's CTCSS. Now, before we do that, actually, we'll hit exit, and we'll make sure we're on the transmit CTCSS. You have got receive and transmit, so you want transmit, press, press again, and then we'll select 94.8 by turning this knob here. So that's our CTCSS set, set, then exit. Now for the shift direction, go menu, RF function, press. You have got squelch, your power, I'll leave that high, it's 25 watts. Uh, Compandor, we're not using that, but apparently this is almost required now in the USA. It makes sure that the radio doesn't transmit out of the 2.5 kilohertz. Uh, scramble, bandwidth, uh, which I've got on wide. Timeout is off. There it is, shift direction, press. And then we want a minus, okay, press. And we'll keep going, we want the shift frequency, press, and we want 600, let's try it, I might, I think it's more like 6, on this radio, I bet it's 6,000, there it is there, press, and then we'll test it, so now we'll exit, and in theory, that's our repeater, so not sure if we'll get it in this room, but we'll, we'll try, we've got my antenna outside connected, just a quick test, M0 FXB test. Yeah, it did make it. Quite pleased with that. Now oh, it is high power. I'll see if anyone comes back to me. M0 FXB, Mike 0 Fox X3 Bravo calling for a contact. And you'll see that the microphone goes green and red when you transmit. Well, not the actual microphone, the LEDs on the microphone. Okay, now we want to set the name. So the easiest way to add a memory channel is we're on the parameters we've just set, actually. 77 looks wrong, let's do that again. See there it says 77, just check it. Menu, CTCSS, transmit. Let's make sure that the other one is off. Ah, let's turn that off, that's what it is. Going the wrong way here. Yeah. Okay, so I realized that it was a receive thing, and when I transmit, look, it's it's gone now. And have a look again. 94.8. So to save a channel, go function, then press the number you want, go zero, zero. Look at the zeros going in first. And then at the end, we're going to put two. So let's do that again. Function, zero, 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 uh, two. <laughs> Save to channel, two, two, two. Let's try again. There you go, zero, zero, two, then function. And then OK. It, it said OK on its own. So now when you go back to memory channel, VFO, memory, and then we'll go to number two. You can't see the name because I haven't put it in yet. There's the name I've already put in. But there's number two. So put it on to number two. You'll see if I press. Beeping away nicely. That's the repeater. Now go menu. This time go to set number three. Enter. Work mode. So you're going up and down until you see work mode. Look, name on display says on. It's number 3.23. Work mode. Enter. And look. So if we go memory, let's try that. 
enter, then exit. One, two. So let's get the name in there. We'll stay on two. It's showing frequency when we said memory. Let's add a name. Go to put it back into where it says channel because that worked for me. Menu, set, work mode, press, channel, press and exit. Now we'll go to memory, menu, set, go to, it says channel edit, we'll find it, there it is there, name edit, press. And now if to go right and left, on the microphone you've got a hash and a star. So the hash is left and the star is right. So if I just show you. There's the hash, star. And then to change the digit, you go up and down with the arrow on the mic or just turn. I just find it easier to turn. So let's go left. And this one is, and we'll start to change. And it does do caps and numbers. And if you hold your up and down arrow on the mic, it goes a lot faster. So we'll put in there G. Push the star. Trying to find the quickest way. The, of course, software would be quicker, but you know, we always, I think most of us end up doing it this way. We can't be bothered to fire up the software. By the time we faffed, we might as well just put the new channel in that we found. Uh, um, DB3, and it's BC. Clockways, I think, was quicker. B. C, and then press, and then we're going to exit, and there it is there, GB3BC, and Hubnet, it puts it on the channel that you're on, so make sure whatever channel you're on, I notice there is a channel delete as well, there's M0FXB, TB3 BC, I'm sure you could probably get rid of the stars if you want. And so we're in channel mode. Another tip is if you go F on the mic, then 7, F, 7, da -da. you've got a radio, you go up and down and you can scan as well, just by pressing the star, scanning, but you can also type it. Let's just go exit, and then we'll go. Uh, human toxicity, echo toxicity. And then to come out, you go function seven. And then the other one is if you go function nine, it starts to scan as well. It's now scanning memory channels. If we go into VFO mode, so we go function nine, exit. Um, go to VFO. There's our VFO, and then we'll go function nine, and it's scanning, it's slow, but come on, it's 44 pound radio, it's fast enough. So yeah, great fun, thanks for watching my YouTube channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button, 73.